Tennessee dating advice for a guy on Vols Quest. Now, I got to read this off to you. All right, I, I hope that you're ready for this. <laughs> uh, this guy said, long story short, I matched with a girl from Sweetwater on Bumble. We went out on a few dates. Things have uh, been going really well. Last week, she broke the news to me that she was still legally married, but the divorce will go through soon. Do I wait until the divorce is final or keep talking to her like normal? Her ex-husband is an MMA fighter from Linear City, so I'm kind of on the fence about what to do. What would you do, Christopher Giannini? Uh, I would... This is going to sound really shitty. <laughs> really, really shallow. I would walk away from the relationship completely. I ain't dating somebody with... Look, I, I steered clear of a lot of baggage when I chose my spouse. Um, I, I ain't dating somebody who used to be married to to, to somebody who fights people with his fist for a living. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm just not. Listen, there's a lot of fish out in the sea, and, and I'm one of these people that do not believe that there is a perfect person out there for everybody. I think love is a choice, okay? And I think I would choose someone else. That's kind of the direction that I would go. I, it, this one, is not a get into it soon. Yeah, like this is this is not like they've been dating for uh, for months, like and they've started to to plan the future, right? This is we've yeah. gone out on a few dates, things have been going well, right? Like at this point, like yeah, okay, you're not divorced yet, which could mean any number of things. She said the divorce will go through soon. Uh, there was another guy that commented on this on uh, on the message board said it's been my experience that when they claim they're quote getting divorced, they're actually a long ways from getting divorced. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of things can change in that. A lot of things can change in that. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is, and, 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 if she's, and if she's already dipping the toe out in something else, and this goes for guys, too. We're, we're not immune to this. It's not just all of women. But, but if they're already dipping the toe in something else before they're fully out of the other pool, uh, that is a real good chance they're going to do that same thing to you. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. you know, it, it, as, soon, as soon as you start, you know, leaving your shit around the house or whatever and, you know, pissing them off and doing little things that they don't like instead of talking to you about instead of working on the relationship they're just going to start looking for the next guy and once they find the next guy then they'll leave the guy they got yep and, and like I said could be the same could be the same for guys and girls like the other way it doesn't matter nobody nobody's got a, a patent on this all right it could be any of <laughs> the ex-husband so. being an MMA fighter uh Ooh, and, and still yeah, living no. in the same city like nah <laughs> like, no, I'm not doing it nope I'm out I'm out I'm doing on that. I'm, I'm, yeah, nope. I'm just, I'm just not. That, that, that sounds like a bad, bad deal. Bad idea. Oh, I, got yes. a, I got a whole book of bad ideas. That's in there. Oh yes. Oh yes. Like I, I've, I've been through uh, some similar situations. You know, at, at none of them an actual MMA fighter, but some big bad dudes that have wanted to break me uh, because I did not know that their girl uh, or ex girl or whatever uh, was their ex girl. So, like I've I've uh, I've taken baseball bats around when uh, when I used to play shows and whatnot back in the day. I mean, all kind of stuff, man. It it got bad there for a little while back in the day. Uh, let's uh, let's well, close I mean, up. look. If you were a coxman back in the day, and 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 and, and things happen, you, know, you can't. You're just gonna take somebody for their word, okay? I'm well, checking yeah. IDs to make sure people are of age because nowadays, you know, you you, you got of course when you're 20, especially nowadays, 12 year olds look like they're 25, so. So oh, yeah. that's that's the only that's the only papers I'm checking, right? But like, if yeah. you're not wearing any jewelry, if I don't know, then I gotta just assume you're. We're just two exactly. adults having a good time, you know, getting into some trouble together. That's fine. But if there's somebody at home that might want to come murder me after this, that's on you, not on me. <laughs> I used to get uh, Facebook messages and all kind of stuff from guys that were ready to murder me, and and well, I had no that's idea because you were you were you were popular. And you were single at a at a at a at a later age. Yeah, yeah, that was probably a lot to do with it. Probably a lot to do. Yeah, with I, it. I did away with all those things quickly. Keep me out of trouble. Yeah, Look, I thought we thought we'd start this show off early. Now, listen, you don't get a face like this without being lucky, all right? Now you get having right. to get beaten. That's all I got to work with. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.